Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss the third problem from the latest Lead Code Weekly Contest 242, problem name Jump Game 4. So there are a lot of jump game variations on Lead Code, you can check those videos out also. I have posted some of them and also there are a lot of videos out on the YouTube also explaining a lot of them. So this is the latest uh, video or latest contest problem from Lead Code. So we're going to discuss this and it's a Whenever you see such a problem, it is generally solved by DP only. So we're going to discuss how you can solve such type of problems. So the problem is just saying that you are given a zeroth index binary string S and it has two integers minimum jump and maximum jump. So in the beginning, you are standing at the index zero, which is like the starting index, which is equal to zero always. Now you can move from index i to index j which which must fulfill this condition the condition is you can go to sj which is equal to 0 which means that from 0 you can go to another index which should be 0 and also from you can only go to a j which is from i plus minimum j till i plus minimum j till the end of the length which means that from current i you can go to a next uh, block or next position which should be at a jump of the minimum and maximum jump range so if i can just draw it go it out if you are standing at this position and let's assume that you have a minimum jump of two and maximum jump of four so you, from this point you can do a jump of two jump of three jump of four jump of five so you can from current position you can do a jump of from given position you can do a jump such that the size of the jump should be in the range between the minimum and maximum jump the size of that jump okay so that's the problem and you just have to tell that whether you can reach the last index or not okay so that's the main problem which is asking you now because you are just given about the first index it is zero they're not giving about the last index so you can also check that the last index should be a zero if it is not the answer is obviously false because you cannot reach there now in such type of problem you are obviously using a dynamic programming approach you can just store out just make a array telling that whether from this point can you like if you are some ith point can you reach this ith point from some previous positions okay so what you can easily do here is for the first position because you are on that and you can obviously reach there you just mark it out as one which means that you can reach there now from from every position what you can do here is from every position you can check that you can so let's assume that if you are on some position which is this so you can only check for some zero can you reach this position from some back position if you can reach to this position from some back position then it is good like you can carry forward if you cannot then it is somewhat bad i'll tell you why so what you can uh, think over uh, in this problem is so let's assume that this is the zero on which you are if you are on this zero can you reach to this zero from some previous zeros you have already seen okay so what you can do you are given some mini minimum jump and maximum jump so let's assume that the minimum jump is till this point and maximum is till this point minimum jump means that if uh, you are on so minimum jump is two and maximum jump is like one two three four five six six so it means that this point can be reached by all the blocks from two to six, obviously, because if you are at this point, that is two point away. If you are at this point, it is three point away. So it means that either you can tell that from this point, I can go to a block, all of these blocks, or in the reverse way, you can tell that from this, so for this block, how many blocks from back I can reach, like how many blocks can reach to this block. So if I just find out a one in any of these blocks, it actually tells me that, okay, if this is a one, it means that I can reach, I can somehow reach that block because one tell that I can reach that block. If I can reach that block, then this block is in the range of this block. Then I can definitely reach this block. And I will just mention down it as one. And I will just keep on going forward. And this approach is also good. Why? Because see, even if there's a lot of zeros, so let's say that there, the starting one is zero and then there are a lot of ones and then there are again some zeros. This is the worst case possible. Why this is the worst case possible? Because see, if there's a zero one, zero one, zero one, 
something like that then for every zero i just have to just move like two steps back and i can check that so i i'm just doing a for a for loop i'm just going from left to right and then for again for every zero i'm just going a for loop from in a backward direction and checking that for the particular range i have what is the range from the minimum to maximum uh, so if from this position i can go to uh this minimum i minus minimum jumps and i minus maximum jump this is the range i can all the blocks from which i can get to this point i can just check among all of these blocks whether anyone is equal to 1 if anyone is equal to 1 this means that okay i can go to this block and i will also mark this as 1 this means that i can reach this block if i can reach those blocks it means that they are marked as 1 from those i can tell that okay i can reach this block also but the main problem is and if there is only like the ones or the zeros are very close then i just have to do two three iteration and check that so it is not heavy iteration heavy i just i can do this in o of n which is fine the worst case can be this in which okay so if there are a lot of ones okay then i will not do anything but for this particular zero i have to find out whether there is another zero for this zero i have to go back to the first element and just check that okay if this is a zero whether this is in my range if this is in my range i will mark this as one in my dp table okay and then for this zero i will just check one place back because see i i i am just checking out from a window let's say my window size is this okay for this i will check that okay it is in my window and this is equal zero then it is fine but when th for this zero it comes this is also my window size but i am going from right to left and because as soon as i hit a one i just break out of this loop for loop because i just need to find one one whenever i find out a one it means that i can somehow reach that value and from that i can reach to the current position and i can just mark it out as one i just have to check that whether i can reach this particular block or not and i if i reach then i just is fine and go to the next block but as you can see and if this is marked as one i just have to check the previous one and it is not taking most iteration for this zero only i have to just go to the first position again so at most i can just take o of 2n for i just go from starting to the end and for that end i just go to the start so it just take two iterations so this is not so not uh, iteration heavy so i just take two uh, turns and just i can check that out but the main problem which occurs is let's assume that my like my bracket or my window which i have to check is small my window is this only for this zero i will check that for this anything for any uh, like any position is equal to zero can i reach this zero from any of this position it is not like and everyone is one everyone is one this is not a db table it is a string s if everything is one it means that there is no suitable position from all of those i can reach to zero so it will remain zero now from this i will again check whether there among this window is there some zero for which i can end no so for now as you can see for every zero i am i am checking out a lot of zeros and this is a repetitive task i hope you get the point what is the worst case scenario the worst case scenario is if my window size is small and if my window size is so small that i cannot reach the previous zero and in that position i am checking out for all the zeros that this is not possible but if as you can see let's assume that if uh, i have something like that which is my first is zero then the second is second is zero and the third is somewhat equal to like 1 1 and 0 okay now let's assume my range is equal to from this to this like my range is equal to this okay so it means my range is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 to 5 so for so for this example as you can see my answer is true my answer is true but as you can see for the second block for the second block as you can see for this zero so if i just assume that if i take out this hypothesis that if i take out a a uh, window and if that window i do not find out any of the ones if i find out any of the zeros i cannot reach and like at the end of that i just mark out as a false like this game is over but that's not true because if i find out a zero which is close to the end like close to the start 
and the range I want. So for this zero, for this zero, I have to check four to five blocks back. If I check a four to five blocks back, this window is before all the elements and there is no window which is exist for this and thus I will not do anything even though this zero I cannot reach this zero I as you can see I cannot reach this zero but this is not the wrong answer so I have to take care of that condition also and that's the whole uh, solution I can show the code part now so first condition which I have told you the ending should be zero if the end if s dot back is equal to one then answer is obviously false then I will just make a dp table everything is equal to zero the first value is one because the first value is zero iterate from the second position and if I see a one then just continue out because I don't care about ones else I, what I will do if the current position is zero what I'll do from this current position I will take a for loop from and what is the bracket I have to take from i minus minimum jump to i minus maximum jump okay i because all those all this element in that window I have to take but i minus maximum jump it should not go out of bounds so I have to take a maximum with zero and whenever I see that if in that window anything I find out to be a zero and it is equal to one then I will mark out I will mark this current dp table as one and I will mark this particular flag value as true which means that I have found out a value in the window which is good for me because good for me means that I have found out a value in the previous window in the window such that if I take out that value I will jump to the current value and I will just break out because I don't want to find out any further values but I have to break out some point which I've told you this this thing is good up till I am finding out a value in the previous window but if I don't find out a value in the previous window I will keep on iterating over the previous window so I will break out of this point I will only break out if I do not find out any value if I do not find out my value my flag will dream out to be false if my flag is false and and the bracket sequence which I have the bracket so I can only break out when the the window sequence I am looking for it should be inbound in the array and I do not find out any value in this for which I can jump so for this zero I just have to ensure that the window I am looking for if it is inbound in the array and no value in this window I can reach till this point so I will just look for that it should be inbound means that the current value minus the maximum jump it, it is greater than zero obviously if the maximum value is this value i minus maximum is this value and if this value is inbound array obviously it is in the array so if it is in the array then obviously and i do not find out any value which is uh, which is taking me to the current point it is equal to false and answer is false else in the end we just check out whether the dp value i am on with the last dp value is equal to one then answer is true else answer is false okay so you can check out the code in the description you can check out the code uh, you can pause out the video also here so if you have any doubts you can mention down i said it's not in the key coding and bye